Hey there, everyone. Have you ever attempted to transfer files via FTP into your WordPress Media Library uploads folder? It might seem like a simple task, but it doesn't quite work as expected because your server media files aren't properly indexed in the WordPress database. Typically, what most folks do is perform an export and import files procedure to get them into the server. However, today, I'm excited to introduce you to an effortless solution provided by the Media Folder plugin, Server Folder Synchronization. This feature will allow you to seamlessly send files from your external folder directly to your WordPress media library. Now, you might be wondering, what sets this feature apart from the traditional import and export method? Well, when you run an import or export, you essentially take a snapshot of your current folder's state and then import it elsewhere. So, whenever you add something new to your folder, you'll need to go through the export process again if you want the other storage or server to have the exact same files. However, with folder synchronization, any action you take on one side will automatically mirror on the other, that's why it's called synchronization. If you're interested in the import and export method and want to learn more about it, I've covered it in another video. Just click on the tab that appears in the upper right corner of your screen to find out more about this feature. But for now, without any more delays, let's jump right into how to synchronize your server folder on WordPress. Now, if you head over to the media folder configuration, you'll notice the server folder synchronization option located in the settings tab, just below the import and export settings. To get the synchronization up and running, you'll need to enable this button right here. This will allow you to activate synchronization between your external folder and your WordPress media library. After that, it's simply a matter of choosing which external folder you want to sync with which media folder. For instance, let's say I want to synchronize my admin folder with the gallery folder in my library, all I have to do is select these two and hit the add button. Once you do that, a new label will appear down here. When you've double-checked everything, simply add it to the queue to initiate the synchronization process. Afterward, I'll check my media library to confirm if the folders have been successfully synced. Now, an additional option within the synchronization feature allows you to not only import files one way, from your external folder to your library, but also perform the reverse process. To enable this two-way synchronization, just use the button up here. The process remains quite similar, you'll just need to select the folders you wish to synchronize, hit add, give it a final check, and then add it to the queue. In the folder synchronization configuration, you can also find the filter tab. Within the filter setting, you'll find many options to filtering the type of file you can import through the synchronization. First you can filter the file format type like JPEG, PNG, and etc. The second the IPTC metadata filter. IPTC metadata, or International Press Telecommunications Council metadata, is standardized information embedded in digital images. It includes details like captions, keywords, credits, sources, dates, locations, and copyright information. IPTC metadata helps in organizing and retrieving images efficiently, aiding photographers, media professionals, and archivists in maintaining proper attribution and context for images. By enable this setting, the plugin allows these kind of metadata that attached on your media files. Finally, and now that really the end, let's check the third-party integrations that the plugin has. There are many WordPress plugins integration with their respective content blocks, widgets or modules, whatever their names are. Also, and that's more interesting, there are many clouds integration, meaning that you can host your images on those systems, whether it's for performance purpose or just for the storage offered. In fact, there's performance connectors like Amazon S3 or DigitalOcean in storage integration like Google Drive or OneDrive. This plugin is available at $49 with all the features we've just tested in this video. All the cloud integrations and gallery features will require the $69 membership. Both memberships are for an unlimited number of websites, no domain limitation, no support limitation. Thanks for watching this video. If you're watching this video from YouTube, don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay informed about new plugin features and ask us any questions using the comments. And of course, you'll find all the useful links we've talked about in the description. Have a productive day, bye.